Hi, Dr. Christopher Olenek back here at Vero Beach Eastside Medical Care for another podcast on our IV Lounge. Our IV Lounge is fantastic. It's the uh, unique one in the air. It's nothing even close to it in the whole county. Today's IV Lounge will be the supplement for the IV for sexual health. And sexual health is involved in many things. We have the libido, which is your desire to have sex. Uh, also, number two is the ability to have an erection, both for men and women, or the penis, of course, and the clitoris for the female. Uh, number two is ejaculation. Ejaculation, of course, is very important for optimal sex, uh, particularly for impregnation, even just for sexual uh, function. Stamina or endurance, both mental as well as physical stamina, is very important. Orgasm, that's the whole culmination of sex, why we have sex. Uh, for the enjoyment of it. Orgasm is a very uh, complicated system in the brain, and basically there aren't really chemicals that cause orgasm, but orgasm causes the release of many chemicals, particularly dopamine, uh, as well as oxytocin, and melatonin. And when these uh, chemicals are released, they eventually get to an area of the brain called the accumbens process, which is the pleasure center of the brain. And there we have the feel-good feeling. Want to have sex again? We have a great meal you had. That area, the accumbens process, is stimulated. That's why sexual activity is so pleasurable. Maybe it's designed that way so we procreate and have offspring. Uh, also for cardiovascular fitness, very important. If you're not in shape cardiovascular-wise, very hard to have good intercourse, decreased circulation, decreased effect on the ability to maintain, uh, achieve and maintain an erection sufficient for penetration. Uh, females for erections as well. Mental fitness, are you relaxed? Are you anxious? Are you depressed? All those things will certainly affect your sexual function, both men and women, and the ability to have uh, and you even have libido, you even want sex, and number two, inability to enjoy sexual activity. So that's very important. Having confidence and having attitude. What's, what are we without confidence and attitude, right? So for the Ivy Lounge, the nutrients we're going to have, very important, we want to make us relaxed but be energetic. Uh, also increase blood flow. Many supplements, amino acids, and other things to increase blood flow, not just to the genitals but to the brain. Dietary optimization of sex hormones. What does that mean? Foods high in, in sugars, uh, sweets, uh, we call it high glycemic index, they actually will increase insulin levels, and insulin levels will actually inhibit the uh, communication of growth hormone to the receptors it has to go to, as well as sex hormones such as testosterone. So a optimal diet, low glycemic, so the keto diet is great, it's high in saturated fat, our hormones are dependent on cholesterol from saturated fats, and it's also high in protein, but very low in glycemic index. Uh, number two is going to be muscle function, more an optimal muscle function, so we have very creative and prolonged sexual activity for skeletal muscles, of course. That was the other podcast we had previously, doing that with amino acids, other supplements, some zinc, some vitamin C. Optimi optimizing orgasm. There are definitely supplements we can take to increase the release of dopamine, make that orgasmic experience ultimate and just uh, undesirable. Uh, should be very desirable, not undesirable, but very, very desirable. And then the last thing is physical conditioning. Want a good cardiovascular fitness, good stamina breathing wise, good stamina heart rate, good stamina for blood pressure, and good mental stamina to really enjoy, take your time, and have a great time sexually for prolonged periods of time. So this is Dr. Christopher Olenek at Eastside Vero Beach Medical Care discussing sexual health as we're using our IV lounge. So call us at 770-6225. See you next week for another podcast. Thanks so much.